Playing with her baby, Isi Meli, Catherine Nayavalandua's heart is torn. The 10-month-old was born in Fiji and is not an Australian citizen yet, which is complicating her desperate fight to get home. I was a few months pregnant at the time when I came into Fiji. Um, and then um, when the borders closed down, I couldn't travel back um, because obviously I was uh, heavily pregnant. It's left her separated from her seven-year-old son, Charles, for 14 months. He remained in Sydney to go to school when she went to visit family in Fiji one day before lockdowns in March last year. Thinking about him makes me quite emotional. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's like, um, let's see, you know, just crying behind the closed doors. Other Australians have been luckier. Sutapo Haleda was on board Tuesday's repatriation flight and is now in hotel quarantine in Sydney. The mother-to-be was in Fiji, aiding the humanitarian effort throughout the pandemic. I'm in my second trimester of pregnancy, <laughs> so um, my usual more uh, risk-taking behaviour has turned a little bit towards risk aversion. She says she was hesitant about leaving the country as it faces lockdown. I know families that have four, five, six children and you can't, you, you, and they don't have the finances to be able to stock up. People in Suva are scrambling to buy enough food to last the lockdown, which begins at 11pm. No one will be allowed to leave their homes with a strict 24-hour curfew in place until Wednesday. A lot of people don't didn't expect the numbers to go this high, but because it is, uh, a lot more people are paying attention. Coronavirus containment, the goal for this island nation. Rani Heyman, ABC News.